What's up guys this is Karan here back with another video welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel latest MIUI 12 20.7.14 nightly official China beta is available for Redmi Note 8 and I've installed it on my Redmi Note 8 which are the things you get here how's the performance and how about the Chinese apps is Google camera working or not and everything else in this video make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started quickly Okay, so we are here at the home scene of this China beta, latest China beta available for Redmi Note 8. As it's a China beta, which means you will get a lot of Chinese apps pre-installed, which is actually blotware. As you can see, it has me community, MI AI assistant, MI financial, MI video. Okay, it's already available here. QQ browser and some little bit to last Chinese apps. And these are the blotware apps which are pre-installed you can remove these apps with the help of root if you want to and also this is a china beta you will not get google play store pre-installed what you need is you need google installer to install these apps on your device and if you don't know how to install google apps in a china beta room i have already made a video regarding this so you can check out my video regarding how to install google apps in a china beta custom room it's a China closed beta nightly beta as I have already shown you. So let's check out first of all the camera. We have the latest MIUI 12 camera which was expected with new camera modes. Let me just tell you when you swipe up, you will see these kind of features and how to enable this. When you go here, you have the option of settings. And when you go to settings, you have the quick snap mode option available. You have the picture quality option and where you get to customize option. Here you get the feature layout and some camera modes. When you go to camera modes, you have two camera modes and I have enabled the second one which I personally refer and personally choose and this one pretty much impressive. You can use this old mode tab also if you like that but I personally use more one. This looks pretty much impressive and something new. You get the colors option available too like this. You can customize the colors if you want to and sound option, different sound option to click photos. This is very much impressive in a MIUI camera feature layout I have already shown you. So these were the things in a camera app and talking about the video recording options and when you click here you have the option to record videos in up to 4k 30 fps this is very much interesting that you can record videos up to 30 fps on 4k this is very much impressive and another very much thing if you want to talk about is the google camera i've installed the gcam 7.3 this is my recommended gcam this one is not gcam 7.3 by parrot this one is something other if you like this Gcam, you can install this Gcam right now on your device. I'll provide you the link for this Gcam also and the link for this Gcam is in the description. You have all the main features of Gcam, whichever you get in all other Gcams. When you go to advanced, you have the show dirty lens warning option, HDR plus control and some little bit of things like ultra high resolution video, video stabilization. And in advanced settings, you have disable Google Photos option, which is very much impressive, including the astrophotography mode. This has very much impressive things. You must go and try it out this camera for sure. Moving on to some other things, I didn't got any performance issues till now. It's just perfectly fine here, including the control center. The control center is also perfectly fine. You get all the main tiles options available here, reading mode, dark mode, battery saver, including the floating windows option. As you can see, we have the floating windows option at the top left corner. You can use any app in the floating window if you want to. And recent animations are just perfectly fine. I didn't got any issues in multitask asking and in some other things like that music gallery all other things are same and talking about the theme store as china beta room so all the themes are in chinese as expected so if you're gonna install any themes from here you will not get these themes in other rooms and if you don't know if you want some other cool MIUI 12 based themes i have made a dedicated video on that you can check out my previous video on this and ringtones fonts and icons 
wallpapers dynamic wallpapers options are available too and all these wallpapers are in chinese in category you have some other options like these kind of things and in my account and here you have the community option theme components where you can customize these things lock style status bar icons messaging dial pad favorite stray boot animation and boot audio etc all other things are same as it's a china beta so you might not get many extra features as like in lock screen you have some main features sleep wake lock screen for notifications here you have the pocket mode you will not get any charging animation which was available in some other rooms but it's not available here in display you have the reading mode which was expected system fonts option control center and status bar you cannot switch the control center side unfortunately and some little bit of things battery indicator and some little bit more things available here all other things are just same sound and vibration home screen you have the option of choosing the home screen with app drawer or without app drawer this was available in all other things too and all these things same like the normal room when you go to password and security you have the face lock option available this is interesting that facebook face lock fingerprint and password all these three things are available and just perfectly fine and including unlock with bluetooth also in additional settings you have date and time languages and input notification light button shortcuts and at last you have the enterprise mode option available too and here when you go to special features this one has a lot of extra features including game turbo video toolbox and tapless which might not be useful in india floating window second space kid space miui lab and light mode all these things you get here all these things i have already shown you so i hope you like it if you don't like it just dislike it so these were all the things i just want to share with you i hope you like it don't forget to like share and subscribe goodbye have a nice day